What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. This is a pair of boots from BC Boots UK and this is a mega, mega exciting video. I'm so excited to go over some of the tech features of this incredible pair of football boots. Now, in here is a pair of match-worn John Stones football boots. Yes, you're absolutely correct. A guy who's 6'3", who's like four inches taller than me, wears the same size shoe or roughly the same size shoe. That's what they're measured as. And I got these from BC Boots UK, who's a dealer out of the United Kingdom who does all match worn football boots. Uh, I was able to get these in very, very quickly because I'm so excited. I might potentially wear these in a game at some point. There's some really interesting differences that have been kind of built into his own custom pair of football boots. These are a pair of GT ones, which he wore during the uh, virus time in like 2020, 2021. I'll put a bunch of photos up on screen from his own Instagram page of this pair of football boots. And I'll explain some of the things uh, as we go on about what are the differences between the normal GT one uh, and the this pair, which has been custom made for him. My assumption is that they were made in Montebelluna at the like pro issue factory. So we'll jump into it right away. So uh, these are in just a bubble wrap. I didn't have, there obviously wasn't a box with these because they are player issue, um, but we'll get these undone. From the outset, there is only one feature about this boot from the outside, and here we go. There we are. One feature of this boot, which you guys might notice is different from the normal GT. Now, if we do, so also there is the uh, BC boots. So you can you guys can go check out the uh, Instagram page there. So one of, let's see if you guys can guess what you see from this pair of football boots. What is different about it? Go comment down below before, uh, before, well, actually there's two things that you can see from the outside, but I'll let you guys guess down in the comments first, and then we'll go over the tech specs of this football boot. Um, part of this is also, oh, come on, focus. Hello. There we go. Boom. All right, so this football boot is very, very special. So as I said, it's a Phantom GT, and from the outside, it's pretty much indistinguishable from a pair of Phantom GTs. You've got the regular generative texture here, fly knit base, except this is a custom sole plate. I believe this is the sole plate from the Tiempo Legend 4 Elite, which a lot of pro players in, um, in Europe actually wear. I know Sergio Busquets wears this sole plate. Foden has been seen wearing this sole plate. Uh, obviously, um, John Stones has worn this sole plate with these boots, and there's a several different players who wear them. My guess is because this is a much more neutral fitting sole plate. There's more structure here through the midfoot area, and it's just a more neutral with the conical studs, two little bladed, and then some bladed studs here in the uh, heel area. So a super, super cool stud pattern that's really neutral. This will probably be totally fine for AG pitches. I know that's crazy for me to say, um, but I'm definitely planning on wearing these um, in a training session Session, at least if not in a game as well. I think these are absolutely sensational. So you can also see a little stitch. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hello. There we go. All right. You can also see a little stitch here in the forefoot toe area. Now, what that is, is that's stitching for a neoprene padding right there, you see in the tongue area. So this neoprene padding basically goes from here all the way around to this medial side of the boot. And what it does is it adds a little thick layer, as you can see there, a thick layer of kind of neoprene padding to the inside. My guess is that he prefers something that's a little more padded here in this lacing system area. The fly knit and just the upper in general of this GT boot tends to be pretty thin um, for most people. And so to have that extra layer of that neoprene just adds that kind of cushiony touch right here where you would uh, strike the ball and where you would touch the ball kind of coming out of the air. The other thing that I think is really, really cool about this football boot, and at least um, I'm sure this is a custom shape for him as well, um, but one of the other things you can see, hopefully from the inside of this football boot, and I hope I can do this justice, otherwise I'll go through and do um, some B-roll shots of this, but hopefully you can see, oh, maybe, okay. 
maybe not. Let me grab my phone and see if I can get a light down in there. Uh, maybe you can see numbers, okay? There you go. So there's a carbon fiber there, boom. There's a carbon fiber piece right in the bottom there. You can see it numbered. So basically, let's see if I can do it this way. There you go, boom. So there's a carbon fiber plate that's been inserted or built into the upper. So it is so snappy, like this is mega snappy. Like this is basically a GT that has a speed portal Carbitex insert in it. Like it is so snappy and so solid through the midfoot. And I'm guessing it's gonna be an incredibly snappy pair of football boots to play in, much more responsive than the regular GT. So this is a mega, mega, mega cool pair of football boots. I am so excited to have these in hand. Obviously, um, this is a pair of John Stones. You can see the number five. The reason it doesn't have his, you know, in England or Stones or whatever customization he usually has has on his boot is because this was these this pair of boots was given to him during the lockdown a lot of the footage that you can see or the photos that you'll see up on screen from his Instagram page with these boots on and you can tell particularly because of the sole plate in the boots why they are different um, when he's striking the ball and stuff these were made when supply chain issues were happening a bunch and my guess is that he actually uh, or just pros in general weren't able to get the customization potentially because the customization features were at a different factory or a different location to the where this boot was made again my guess is Montebelluna it doesn't have any it'll like made in Italy there's no sizing in here because they are made custom fit for him um, and there's really no other differences there might be some construction differences so there's a potential that the heels a little bit Bit different than the regular GT. The shape of the boot looks to be about similar to a normal GT. Obviously, it's going to be pretty custom fit to his foot shape. Um, so I'm going to have to potentially break these in just a little bit, depending on if they fit my foot as well as if, if John Stones and I have the same uh, kind of shape foot. And But other than that, these are pretty much a standard GT as far as I can tell. The insert or the, uh, the liner on the inside of that generative texture upper and that flyknit uh, upper is the exact same as a normal GT is. Uh, this whole lacing system area is basically the same, obviously, outside of that neoprene padding that's on the inside of that lacing system to give it an extra kind of little cushion when striking the ball. I'm very curious to know what that's going to feel like on, on ball. And then, of course, that sole plate and the carbon fiber insert, which I think is just the coolest thing on earth. I think having a carbon insole in every single football boot would be so sick, especially for those of us who like a little bit more snappiness in our sole plates. I am a huge fan of the Phantom GX, but I imagine that if it were to have a sole uh, or a carbon insert like this boot does, it would be potentially the best boot on the market today if it's not already, in my opinion, the best boot on the market today. Um, so that the GX is a fantastic boot, obviously took over for the GT, but the fact that this GT was made custom fit, yes, for John Stones, but it's got some really tasteful additions, including a sole plate that I am gonna, I know I'm gonna prefer this better simply because it's more neutral. Um, the, the aggressiveness of the G. T1 sole plate and GT2 because they're the same. The GT1 and the GT2 sole plate were super, super aggressive and I really did not prefer them at all. And so, and I've actually worn Tiempo 3, 4, and 5. So I know that this sole plate, which looks almost identical to those boots, is going to fit really similar and have a really nice underfoot neutral feel. There's not a lot of rock to it. As you can see, it's a pretty flat football boot, but there is a ton, I almost said is something not so great. Uh, there is a ton of snappiness to that upper. That is crazy, or to that sole plate. So I'm very curious to see how these perform on a kind of a more strenuous basis. I'm sure they're fantastic. Obviously, he wore them in a match, scored a goal in them, I believe, as well. From the from at least from the photos on his Instagram page in these boots, so very very excited. Without further ado, let's hop into the on feet portion of the video where you guys can see what the John Stones match worn football boots look like and feel like on feet. These are measured to be a size nine, so my guess is they're exactly a size nine, or maybe they're like a quarter size or an eighth of a size longer or shorter, depending on his exact foot shape. Um, but I'm very very stoked to see what these feel like on feet. So without further ado, let's hop into it. 
I am out here on pitch with the John Stones match worn Phantom GXs. I am, or Phantom GTs, excuse me, not GXs. Phantom GT ones. So these were back in 2021, I believe, 2022, right at the early end of 2021. I'm very excited to see how these fit and feel. Obviously, with all of the differences in some of the tech and the way these were built, I am absolutely thrilled to see if these are going to be a viable boot for wearing on potentially these AG pitches as well as FG pitches. Obviously, I know they're good for FG pitches because all the photos that he's wearing them is on Prem pitches, so those are amazing. But without further ado, let's just hop into the uh, on-feet portion. God, these are such a cool-looking pair of football boots. I think the, G the GT actually has a great silhouette. I think it looks really nice. Um, I just wasn't a fan of the original uh, GT and GT2 because I didn't think they were special enough. And the fit and feel of the boot actually was pretty atrocious in my opinion. Uh, the heel area caused problems for a lot of people and it just wasn't a football boot that I think most people enjoyed even though I know some people some people did like them. Um, so I am not wearing grip socks. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, if you are uh, a returning viewer, which thank you very much. Uh, I don't wear grip socks, you guys know, because it gives kind of the most raw sensation and then whatever performance benefits extra you want in grip, you can wear grip socks on top of that, but I just do it without them just because. Uh, jumping in, oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so the shape right away. Um, one thing that I think changes the shape of the boot is actually the way the sole plate is. Um, and then I can immediately feel that neoprene padding through this lacing system area, which is super plush. It makes the boots feel almost like a... I don't even know how to describe it, like a plush leather sensation. Um, these are definitely a size 9 US. Uh, there's a tiny bit of extra space on the end, which is uh, exactly how the 9 US of the Phantom GT1 fit. So they run a little bit long, uh, but not enough to go half size down, unfortunately, like the Puma Future Ultimates, which I reviewed and have done a one month review of now. Those are awesome. Um, but the neoprene padding in the lacing area is really sensational and holy crap. Okay, so as soon as I bent my foot, I can feel how rigid that carbon fiber plate is in the bottom. That is sensational, honestly. And the way these boots grip into the ground, these are so nice. <laughs> okay, so this is what a custom pair of Prem football Nike sponsored athletes get. This is uh, this is what the, the real athletes get. Holy moly. So we'll get this other one on feet. God, these are cool. They slide right on, so no issues with, with fit or sizing. Obviously, these are broken in for his feet, and I, I would reckon his feet are a little bit thinner than mine, um, just based on how these are uh, kind of breaking in on the side here. My guess is I have a little bit wider feet in the midfoot than he does, um, but that's, you know, whatever. Again, really interesting how much padding is in this area right here. That's crazy town. Okay, so there they are on feet, the John Stones match-worn Phantom GT1s. These are so, number one, the, one of the main reasons I got these is because they're in my size, that was the first reason. Second reason is because I saw how customized they were, and that is one thing that I've always wanted to check out is what the uh, Nike sponsored athletes actually get, which is um, Busquets wears this same stud pattern as well on his GT1 and GT2s and now GXs. And so I really wanted to try out what it would feel like without obviously gluing uh, a different sole plate onto uh, a pair of a pair of GTs. So that's what they look like. The other thing that I was really excited about is the color. I think this color is fantastic. Blue and silver, this is one of my favorite colorways of the GT1, and they really are uh, a really stunning and awesome color. One of our center forwards actually wears this color as well, um, Alion Diacate, so he, on Flower City, so he's uh, he's gonna be rocking these. Uh, he has the high top versions of the normal GT1s in, in games as well. So here we go, on feet. You guys can see how awesome and blue these are. Uh, touch on the ball, which is the biggest thing I'm actually curious about. There's definitely, if I can juggle, thank you, stay off. Uh, there is a significant difference between the regular GT1 and the padding that that little neoprene uh, 
kind of, whatchamacallit, little, little neoprene strip that's been sewn into that lacing system area, it really makes a difference. It makes it much more padded, much more, uh, much less barefoot and raw. And so every, I feel like striking a ball with these boots is gonna be absolutely sensational. Um, the other thing I noticed right away is that carbon fiber plate. It is super springy, super bouncy. It's very much like wearing a pair of speed portals or speed flows although those boots have quite a bit of arc to them in the toe area, so it really puts you up on your toes. These feel like the carbon plate is fairly flat in a lot of ways, um, but it's just meant to give you that energy, extra energy return when you do want to bend your foot and go forward. So when I'm standing flat, I don't feel like I'm up on my toes that much. There might be a little bit of bend to that carbon plate, um, but for the most part, they feel pretty, like, other than obviously the way that the studs grip into the ground with this different sole plate, um, they definitely don't feel like I'm up on my toes like that all the time. They definitely feel like I could kind of stand normally, you know, on, on kind of all parts of my toes here. There's going to be space in these boots to expand and move a little bit as well. So I'll be able to break these in uh, to what my foot shape is and still get the same effect of the carbon and the awesome sole plate as well. My guess is too, as I said before, these are, my guess is these are made in Montebelluna um, because that's where the pro issue factory is. That's where they do all the kind of the lasts of each pl Nike player's foot and they're able to build boots off of that. So my guess is the build quality of these boots is going to be absolutely exceptional. Um, I don't plan on wearing them in a lot of other conditions other than this. I know it sounds crazy, but I am gonna wear them on an AG pitch because I know that there potentially could be more down the pipeline that um, the uh, BC Boots UK will get in and I will probably cop and get in as well because I think a GX with from John Stones would be pretty sensational. Uh, that would be pretty cool. But the GT will do again. The shape of this boot is definitely a lot different because of how the sole plate is and how how much wider the sole plate and more neutral the sole plate is than the normal FG version of the GX1. I keep saying GX the GT one. Uh, so the shape of this boot actually feels a lot nicer. There is a slight little slippage in the heel area. Um, so they're not that much different. The, it definitely feels like a different heel area. They're probably custom fit to, to John Stones. So that's that would make sense. Um, it doesn't slip as much as the regular GT one, but there's definitely a little bit of heel slippage in there. Um, under feel, uh, under feel, underfoot feel on the ball is much more neutral. Again, I love this conical sole plate a lot of different boots on the market have this type of sole plate the morelia neo 3 betas have this type of sole plate with the conical studs and the little uh, bladed studs in the middle uh, the tempo legend 3 elites that i've been wearing those maroon ones have the same sole plate a lot of kind of the best boots on the market that are long standing have this very similar sole plate so for me this is a fantastic pair of football boots i'm so excited to uh to wear these in training and to really work them and see how uh, fantastic these are moving forward so if you guys are interested in more videos like this with with match player worn uh, pro issue football boots let me know down in the comments below i'll try to see if i can get more in a size 9 us um, there's one last look at them. So cool with that different sole plate. Really neutral, really awesome. Super snappy sole plate with the carbon fiber as well. So absolutely sensational. And they feel really good on feet, if I'm honest. The, the GT, yes, is a really crap shape in a lot of ways. Um, but because of the changes they've made to this particular football boot or potentially the similarities in foot shape between myself and John Stones, which is a possibility. I don't actually know what his foot shape looks like. Um, but that is, that is pretty sweet. So awesome pair of football boots. Thank you so much to BC Boots UK. I appreciate you very much. Link will be down in the description box below for the Instagram page there or the website, uh, depending on, I might just put both down in the description box so you can find it really easily. Um, again, if you like this type of video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.